this is a little bit more how I like it. It was really nice to be up in Edinburgh and do a bit of photography up there, even a bit of urban wildlife photography. But being back out in the countryside, much happier. So, here back in Cumbria and um, I'm right next to the Northern Pennines and that's where we're heading tomorrow to photograph black grouse on a lake. I've done a video on this on the Tragopon channel. I'll put a link to that above. Basically, I went out there last month and somebody told me that the three black grouse, three male black grouse had been seen in a tree up there and just before sunrise they went down a field to lek. So I went up to explore this and I show that in the video where I found them and basically it was snowing up there then so I could even see their tracks in the snow to figure out exactly where to put the hide which is really useful. So now I know the area and I can go up there tomorrow morning I know pretty much where they're going to be. So hopefully I'll get some good light uh, to photograph them as well but the weather is looking bad. Anyways I got all my stuff packed and tomorrow morning head up there it's gonna be pitch black when I walk up. I'm gonna be up in that hide probably an hour and a half before sunrise so I can set up the hide, be inside it before even twilight starts just so there's no chance that they'll see me or I'll disturb them. So I won't be able to film on the way up there, it'll just be too dark. But uh, I'll catch you in the hide tomorrow morning. Shutter speed of 200th of a second. I haven't been shooting an 80th of a 
So that's it, all over now. This is a great place because it's very easily accessible. I can walk up here in the dark because there's a path all the way up here. Obviously the back, the backdrop of that is that people come here early in the morning and walk their dogs. And so it's, I think it's about quarter past seven or something now and the first people just arrive and then immediately flush the black girls. I've, this is the best views I've had of them and the longest they've really been going at it liking. They even had some flight, kind of flight to fight in, which was absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, I wasn't quick enough to get any good shots of that or anything like that because my, uh, my shutter speed was still too low and I had to fire up the ISO quite high. Um, but I'm quite happy with some of the shots that I got. Um, you can see movements here, but they're all blurred, so... Um, oh, yeah. This is definitely some of the best, best photos I've gotten of black girls before. Still, and they're still not amazing, but I'm very happy. Um, it's an overcast day, and, you know, this sun has come up, but since we're up in the hills here, it's not come up over the horizon yet. So it's very, very dark. Um, and there's snow on the ground, but not enough to make it proper white. So, so I shouldn't complain. There's a few things that could have been better, like the light and snow all over the ground. That would have made it spectacular. And no dog walkers early in the morning. But I got to sit here in the hide and watch them for an hour. Um, and just the experience itself is absolutely incredible. Like it's just, it's quite unreal. I feel incredibly lucky just to have seen it. And got a few photos as well and hopefully some of them will come out nice. Um, and you can check out the video from when I first found this place. I have made a video for Tragopon makes these hides that I'm in here now. This is the hockey hide. This is a ground hide, so it's a very small hide. So there's a little dome in front here where I can peek out the window. And there's two side windows here as well. And then there's just quite a long little tunnel where I can lie down and also have my backpack down there. Unbelievable experience. I'm gonna pack this up, go home, have a look at these photos, and hopefully I'll have something good to share with you guys. Um, if not, I know I've taken some video of this, so I can share that.
So it's a shame that the dog walker showed up because just just before that I was finally starting to get light enough so I can bring my ISO a little bit lower and I can start experimenting with higher shutter speeds. I really wanted to get some action shots from when they you know they start to kind of fight a little bit and they jump around a bit. But uh, with the low shutter speeds that I was working with there, I just didn't have a chance to do that. But I think that later in the year when you know the sun is up earlier, there aren't gonna be many people on the hills. And the sun comes up faster as well. Because I'd really like to get some photos some backlit photos of the grouse. Well, that might be for a different location because I don't know if I'll be back here uh, anytime soon. So this is kind of a one-off. I'm just down here for a couple of days in Cumbria and the weather is looking pretty awful pretty much every day. It was a blizzard yesterday, which was, I mean, it was great because you got all this snow up here. But, it just didn't seem to be enough snow and it's still a bit mild so it's melted over most of it is melted overnight uh, so yeah I didn't get that completely white snow covered uh, habitat here which would have been really cool but I'm still absolutely delighted with how the results that I got and just being up here um, just the experience of uh, lying there in that hide, listening to them and watching them uh, and the behaviors that they exhibit, it's just, it's just such a crazy thing, it's so cool. So, super happy about this morning. I'm gonna put this camera away now because my fingers are a bit frozen. Thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I come out with these wildlife photography videos once a week and maybe some more in the future. But anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.